Hey guys, Scanner Danner here with my son Caleb behind the camera. We are at my brother's shop, Danner's Automotive in Bethel Park, Pennsylvania. If you guys are interested in bringing your car to my brother, you can look him up, Bethel Park, PA, Danner's Automotive. That's where he's at. I'm not gonna put his phone number here because that could be bad. This going to a YouTube audience, who knows. But anyway, this is one that should be pretty straightforward because my brother has already done all the hard work for us. He told us that he's pretty confident, 99% that he needs a BCM. Uh, we can see the BCM sitting right here. You know, He's already taken the glove box apart and it's sitting out nice and easy for us to test it. Um, but the issue is the right rear, I believe I'm saying this right, the right rear turn signal yeah. does not operate and um, it is all BCM controlled. And what he had done already before we got here is he had, uh, he's run a straight 12 volt to the feed wire to that turn signal and can make it work. And so essentially he's already confirmed wiring integrity front to back. Okay. And, and the only other issue for us is gonna make sure that our powers and grounds are good to this BCM and, and then we're gonna call it. I mean, essentially Danner's ready to call it now, but the reason that he hasn't is that simple fact. He's not 100% sure. Uh, because he didn't verify powers and grounds, even though everything else works. All the other turn signals work, brakes, parking lights, everything. Uh, we still want to confirm to be 100% sure. Uh, I'm pretty confident that, that my brother was going to change this anyway, but I think this is kind of bonus for him that we're doing the final step. So maybe we can uh, show you a couple of things that he had already done and confirm that this BCM is in fact faulty. So let's start with a real quick light check around the exterior and see if that is in fact what's going on. I think he did say that the right front turn signal works, but the right rear does not. And so let's confirm that first before we do anything else. Oh, and by the way, this is a 2008, if I didn't say it already, 2008 Chevy Express um, G1500 van. So light check. So let's go left turn. Let me get back here. To, yeah, left turn signal is good. Okay. Try right. Yep. It blinks fast. Yeah, there's nothing. Okay. I can see it blinking. I'm gonna hit the brake, Caleb. There's brakes. Only on the left. No brake. Right. No brake on the right. No and then is the brake the same bulb as the turn signal then? The so uh, that's the left turn. Yep. And then there's left turn and brake. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's the same. So it'd be the same bulb, same circuit, because that's the brake only. Yeah. And then there's the brake and turn signal. Yeah, it's the same. Okay. So it is the same circuit, the brake and turn. And then parking lights are on? Uh, parking light turns on, so that's different. There's parking light and brake. Yeah. Okay. So let's go up front now. So parking lights are on. I can barely see it, but yeah. Off. Yeah. On. Okay, left turn. Yeah, that's separate. Right turn. Front right turns on. Okay. Yeah. All right. So a couple things, just by that simple test, this being BCM controlled, we know that the turn signal switch would be an input to the computer. And one of the problems that you would run into when you have an output that's not working, see if this makes sense, Caleb, is you worry about an input. So if you have, a, um, say, a door lock that's not working, uh, it could be the motor itself, could be the switch, right? The switch being the input, motor being the output. You have a light that's not working, well, you have to worry about the input. But the fact that the right front works when I turn the right turn signal on, yeah. what does that tell us about our input? Our input's okay. fine. We can, however, view that input, we should be able to, on the scan tool. So I'll show you that as well, but I don't think it's necessary. We already know our input is fine. We have an output issue. And so that leaves us with computer wiring or bulb. And what my brother had done, I told you already, is he energized that rear brake slash turn signal circuit from the BCM and made it light from the box itself. Okay, so, the so how's our bulb? Circuit's how's fine. our bulb ground? How's our wire between computer and bulb? That's why he had done that. And we'll show you that same step, but um, let's see if we can get some BCM data just to show you guys some other methods. I'm going right to my body control module. 
see if we have any codes in here at all. No codes present. No codes. And I'm just taking my brother's word on it that this is BCM controlled. I believe him. And valet, park and brake, traction, no, that's not good. Exterior lighting. All right, so um, let's customize this. Okay, so um, this would be something you can look at too, Caleb, while, while you're doing it. If you can reach over and uh, go ahead and uh, turn the left turn signal on. See it went to active. Mm -hmm. See that, that PID right there? Yeah. And turn it off. So it's just an input. I mean, we already know our input's good, right? But it is a way that we can verify that if you didn't have any turn signals at all. And so um, that was the left. So we want the right turn. So I'll go ahead and do the right side. And there's your input there. No problem with no problem with your input. So checking your inputs is as simple as that. Say we had no right turn at all. How important would this step be? Very. <laughs> yeah, it's critical. I mean, th this is this saves you so much time, doesn't it? When you have a scan tool, it gives you enhanced data that you can see something like that. So, you know, um, I mean, just by deductive reasoning, we already knew the input was fine because the right front worked, but it, that, that's pretty cool. All right. so. This actually gave us some feedback too. Turn the right side on again. Right front turn signal bulb out feedback says inactive. And the right rear turn signal bulb out feedback says active. Do the left. So inactive is what we want. There's your on off for the turn signal. See how the two left, left front and the uh, left rear say inactive? Yeah. Inactive. So then, so inactive is what we want. It's a feedback circuit, basically telling you that the bulb is intact, like the circuit's okay. Um, now turn the uh, right turn on, watch what happens. See how the right rear turn signal bulb out feedback says active basically telling you there's a problem there. Yeah. Surprisingly, there is no fault code for this. Leave the right turn on. Pretty annoying sound. Yeah, it's super annoying. But I just want to see if this, you would think this would code for us and it doesn't, even though the computer is recognizing a fault. Okay, uh, kill that noise. <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna want to do now Danner's already got stuff pulled up, which is awesome. So here's your section of the BCM. And you see that the right rear turn circuit that splits, that's gonna probably go up front. I don't have the second page. You see it comes down to here. And there's your tail light, rear tail light. That's parking like parking light would be this circuit that's your brake and turn same bulb so what we want to do is we want to check power right here on this yellow wire coming out of the bcm okay so that is on sorry it's not yellow it's dark green i read that upside down um on pin two of the x1 connector um pretty cool that this is nope not sure what X was hoping it'd say the X pin. So here's how we'll identify this. Pin one is yellow, oh, sorry, it's the X5 connector. Pin one is yellow, pin two is dark green. So it's this, this wire right here. Yellow is the left turn. Okay, got it. I'll show you with my test light. Easiest for you guys to see most, most likely. So I'll show you the, the yellow wire. This should be the this should be the left turn. Go ahead and turn that left turn signal on for me, Caleb. There you go. Okay, that's your left turn. So we did identify the right wire. This should be our right turn. Nothing. Nope. So that's the circuit that my brother energized, put 12 volts to it, and uh, made the lights light. 
and we can do that. Um, my preference would be to do that one unplugged. All right, so I need a hot feed coming in here that I can use. Uh, I mean, we could get a little creative. I was thinking using the right left turn to run the right turn, but that that could overload that driver, so I don't want to do that. That uh, sounded cool. Well, yeah, I mean, you're doubling the amperage if you do that, you know? If I jumped the green and yellow, which I could do, essentially when you turn the turn signal on, you're going to have all four going. Mm -hmm. And you're putting more current flow on that driver than what should be there. Can you pop the hood next to you, Caleb? I got to hook up my PP. Your what? <laughs> <laughs> my PP. My power probe. <laughs> Oh, is this the thing that makes that awful sound? <laughs> it does kind of do yeah, some stupid I, beeping. I, I hate No this. sound. I just turned it off. Okay. Turned it off. All right. So a couple things we can use this tool to tell us, which is if I find a ground, right? Notice the light turns green. So on this circuit, <clears throat> I'm going to actually unplug it to do it. You could actually check bulb integrity. The fact that that's showing a ground right now means that the integrity of the circuit is traveling. So what I'm doing is I'm putting my power probe here and the light with it unplugged, the light is finding a path through this way, through the bulb element and then to ground. So the fact that the light lights in this location tells you what about the bulb? tells you what about the ground, cool. tells you what about the integrity of the wire. Mm -hmm. That's not a perfect test, but that's what that test is used for, okay? So what I'm gonna do, knowing that this is my turn signal circuit, is I'm just gonna simply flip the switch, right? It's disconnected from the BCM. This is my turn signal circuit, and that should light. Right now, My the right sides should be lit. You wanna go out and confirm that for me? I can see it in the reflection of that Jeep. You know, I'm gonna film it. Okay, sweet. You ready? Go ahead. There's the, that's me flipping the switch. Yep. Making that light turn on and off. So how is my bulb? How's my circuit? How's my integrity? It's good. It's good, right? And my brother had already confirmed that. So that's pretty cool. Unfused. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of <laughs> I'm kind of unfused too with my with my power you probe. Light. Oh, you can see it reflect. That's what. That Jeep. That's nice. what. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what we did. All right. So, um, yeah. And input wise, we were just ta talking to the guys, Danner, that you know I, the fact that the right front works. We weren't worried about our inputs, but I was able to show them the inputs anyway. Okay. Um, so really, the last thing is. We just need to um, check the powers and grounds and, and tell my brother we're good to go. And it would be cool if we could, you know, open this up and maybe see a bad, a burnt driver. That'd be sick. It would be cool. I mean, we're, we're going to, we're going to try that, but I just want to, uh, I need the rest of the BCM. Be careful because there was something plastic already that I broke. I heard it. What do you mean? I don't know. It just all snapped in. No, oh. not there. On the, the on the on the on the dash holder. I don't know. There's like I don't know. There was something up went, there. Yeah, because there, it, it's not bolted in. Or you know, the, it's just like, nice thing about this laying here like this is that's how I can leave it when I'm yeah, done. Yeah. <laughs> all right, battery voltage one, two, and three. So that is black and oh. white, black, white, and red, white. Okay, that's this connector here. One, two, and three, and four. All right, so this will be key is on, and we should be doing voltage measurements. I mean, we can do that. Oh, this will give me tip voltage as well. So I don't know if you can, is that clear on the screen? You can see the voltage level on that? Mm -hmm. That's a ground, that's 0 0.02, 12 volt feed, 119, 11.89. And then another ground, 0 0.02. So that's the first four on that. These are going to be all my feeds. And I'm not really worried about these, I don't think, because everything else is working. But we're going to check them anyway. And then I got a whole bunch of red whites together on the next connector. So that was the X3 connector. We want the X4. Yeah, that's the next one over. All four of these. These are all power feeds as well. 11.9, mm -hmm. 11.7, uh-oh, what's going on there, uh, it's not voltage, 
that one right there is uh, 0.2 of a volt and that's pin 3 so that is the one that I just made blue and that's the BCM fuse 6 BCM 6 fuse 23 in the underhood fuse box you want me to come with you? yeah you somewhere? definitely need to come with me because that should be powered and it's not so fuse 23 it might be a good thing Danner didn't order a BCM for this because we have a power feed that we're missing. Can't even. <laughs> There's yeah. no chance I'm no. gonna see that. Not yet. <laughs> I'll move whenever I can. Put all this crap in the way. Okay. Fuse 23, BCM 6. <sighs> These fuse boxes. Caleb and I are laughing because we just <laughs> did this on a Hummer. You, you guys will get to see it here soon. The, the layout of some of these fuse boxes. One, two, three, it's missing. Is it missing? Dude, it's missing. Are the you sure it's not upside down? I'm not sure of anything at the moment, but fuse number six. Oh, it is empty. It's fuse 23. That's BCM6, not fuse 6. Sorry. Fuse 23. Somebody's already changed it, Caleb. It's got a junk ass. Come here. Let me see it first so I can. Th the camera. That fuse right there, it's already been changed. Oh, yeah, there's. So I'm just going to back probe that. Got 11.9 there, okay? And, hold on. T -t Today. That fuse is bad. Point two. About point that two. fuse is blown. And it's been replaced. So they replaced it with a crap fuse? Or? No, it's definitely something. blown. Got a blown fuse here, Danner. Nice. That's what was my. That's what I was concerned about. Is there a possibility that it was? Because yeah. there was, looked like there was like four different feeds to this thing. Yeah, I need. So there might have been. Something. And it's been changed before. Somebody changed this fuse before. Do I have spares in here, or can you give okay, me a spare? Should you be concerned about fuse whatever blew the fuse? Yes, always, always. Good question, Caleb. The problem with your question and you're smiling and laughing, but I'm not in my head because that means our job just got a little bit harder. You know? Yeah. I mean, it might be one of those, we don't know why this fuse blew. And obviously if it's the left turn signal circuit, that's where our focus is gonna be. And that would be putting this thing up in the air and checking the harness as it runs down along the frame, which we are not doing today. You guys might want me to. Yes, yes. Caleb and I are on our third car today and we need to get going. So um, this, this is really just gonna be a lesson on why you need to check powers and grounds. I mean, who would think, maybe I'm speaking prematurely here, but who would think a blown fuse to the BCM would cause the le uh, right rear turn signal only circuit yeah. to not work, right? Turn it's signal really break. It is weird. The fact that the front does, but yeah, so that's ultimately what is gonna happen. And the problem could be back at the bulb itself where th there's a most likely, well, I wouldn't say most likely, but that's where I would start. And maybe we'll do an inspection on that socket back there. So we were just talking, Danner, to the camera and everyone else that, you know, it's kind of odd if this fixes this problem, it's really seven and a half. Oh. Come on, blind what man. It is red. Uh -oh. <laughs> it's seven and a half. Oh, shit, that might be all I have in this kit. This... Oh, I oh, see wait. a ten. <laughs> Here, take that one. Hey, you want want a shot of a good fuse? What the hell is this? Is this a fuse checker? I don't know. I don't know. It's got pins on it. Well, you'd have to plug it in, but this is just I don't be better than my snap-on light. I don't want that. Come on, man. You have to try it now. It came with the business. Did it light up? Yeah. Nice. Okay, so question now. The fuse is replaced. Let's see if our left rear, or right rear turn signal works. Here, uh, you go in the back. 
Standard, flip that turn signal switch. Yep, it's working. Got it. Good thing we followed this up because we were 99% sure it needed a BCM. But this is why we don't change parts and this is actually exactly why my brother wanted me to verify this for him as he's doing 50,000 other things. Sometimes we can be complacent and if it was me and I'm running this shop and doing all this other stuff, I probably would have called a BCM as well and not did these final steps. Um, we absolutely, was, I mean, who would have thought a blown fuse to a BCM would only make the one bulb not work? Yeah. Just how they're wiring the circuit. Well, yeah, I mean, it, yeah, but you don't know if there was anything else on that leg. I don't know. It, it could also be trailer when they well, plug see, in look, some look, trailer look, lights. Yeah see, yeah, see, if you look inside here, Caleb, if you look inside here, they use, they have a trailer stuff set up where they took the original harness and then there's a pigtail jumper yes. that splits it down to run some other stuff that probably has to do with trailer towing, you know, on both sides. Because this is, doesn't look like it's not a factory you know so, this yeah. one should just plug right into here right but then there's this one and there's the green wire so there is factory or there is a trailer package yeah, on so this it could easily be a short in the trailer that's doing it but this whole thing's been taped up you know what i mean if you uh -huh. look at it like someone i mean they're electricians jump by inside trade. here caleb they're electricians by trade so you know what i mean but they work on like big stuff but see these jumper things here yep. you know what i mean this yep. goes down to trailer stuff and there's a ground that's off here that I was thinking about over. fixing mm -hmm. because maybe you have this arcing or it's back feeding somehow but well Caleb had a great question which is we now confirmed it's not a faulty BCM we know it's a blown fuse the question oh, is did. is what did it and I told him I said that's where you would put the car up in the air look along the frame yeah but if look at the wiring Caleb it's not along the frame our wiring to our lighting is actually inside the car yeah and so that keeps it out of all the muck and grime and so then we really have to question what he had hooked up to this. He could easily had a short in a trailer that he's towing. Mm -hmm. And this, at this point, we don't do anything. At this point, we inform the customer of yeah. what we found, blown fuse. Hey, now it'll be in my database. I'll know which fuse to check. That's right. And, and also we can let the customer know, you better check what you're towing here and, and pay attention to when this stops working again. Yeah. Uh, there's really no reason, in my opinion, other than a quick visual inspection of some contact points the harness um, other than that that's all the further we're going with this um, I, I see no reason to uh, even take things apart um, for us right now no um, so yeah I'm just gonna do a real quick real quick contact point inspection and you know what this is all about Caleb don't you we've done this quite a few times This comes down this way. Yeah, I can't see that. And it goes along the floorboard, I think. Under here. Yeah. It's pretty much all enclosed. I mean, it's not exposed to anything. So I'm really suspecting that it's gonna be within the trailer circuit yeah that goes down this way okay two goes into one so that's that i'm worried about this harness right here this is aftermarket this would be the most likely the brake turn signal circuit yep Comes down into, this would be trailer lights. Contact points, man, check that out. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Holy. Oh, I think I see. I see a I see. <laughs> is it a reflection? Is it hitting that, right? I don't now? know. I can see a reflection. But there's no exposed wire, though, believe it there's or not. Uh-uh. I, I thought I was seeing it. Yeah, you're not. It's shiny, but it's not exposed. Okay. And that, that piece there is probably, that ground is. Uh-uh. The other thing too is 
that should be the turn. So I don't know. I don't know offhand if the, if this is the turn signal circuit for that side or not. Probably is. Let me just look underneath now. <laughs> Let me grab. I'm gonna grab my light. I just want to confirm that this green wire is my left turn. It is. Yeah. Cool. I can see that flickering. Okay. So it is the green wire. So these these marks that we were looking at on these other wires that were next to this clip. It's not, not a problem. It's the green yeah. wire that we're worried about. And so, yes, from this point, um, I want to go underneath and do a real good visual inspection on this green wire. Make sure I don't see anything in here. Make sure it's not like rubbing on anything in there. Okay. I need to use this power probe more. You know how nice it is to have a direct connection to the battery and I'm, you know, 20 feet back from the battery. Then I know I have a good ground. So this, this is gonna be. Do you want me to get down there to see? Not yet. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, I can't see that yet. That's my turn signal. And it's green here as well. I'm just gonna do a real quick harness inspection this is all taped up all right so I'm just real real quick inspection Caleb on the green wire coming through the grommet it's nice to have a grommet there yeah. I don't see any damage on the wire I see nothing in here and then we have a really uh, heavily taped up part here that I'm not going to untape I'm not worried about that okay and then it just goes right to the trailer light. So we've done all that we can visually. Everything looks okay. Um, we're just gonna tell him exactly what we said earlier. Dan, real quick. Yes. When you get a second, come here. So um, we didn't see anything inside. Everything looked okay. This green wire is the left turn signal. It does run down underneath. And then we had these wires right here we're laying inside Ooh, this clip flipped in there I yes. can see it yeah except none of those are the left turn signal oh. <laughs> so that's your left turn signal and okay. it's good from there okay. down so just so you're aware if it comes back with a blown fuse this is the leg that you're worried about okay and the turn signal is the brake yes so those even though those were sitting in there uh, what are these ones? There would be uh, right, so you'd have reverse lights, um, the parking lights, and the right turn would be those, the other three. And the left turn. Sorry. Ah, my ring is... Nice. Is People have lost fingers that way. Uh, my ring's stuck. <laughs> what? <laughs> my ring is stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. This, is, diagonal. this is people say you shouldn't wear your ring well check this out i want everyone to know now w watch the split in my ring my oh, ring oh my, my goodness well the ring's been that way for i've worn this ring for 25 years now so i just leave it that way that way if something like this happens and i'm jumping right. off a ladder guess who's yeah. not guess who's not losing their finger or me you fatten up a little bit <laughs> yeah. i had to cut mine off or, it's like you know what i mean like, you know why everybody's talking about did danner lose weight everybody's saying like that. 30 pounds man. Uh, all right <laughs> on so. purpose my wife said you're gonna have all that stress of that business you're eating right so i'm not like eating junk food and stuff <laughs> So you're just eating what she feeds you and you lost weight. Yeah. How cool is that? Well, she didn't tell me that she put me on a a, a, a 90 pound cheerleader's uh, calorie schedule. <laughs> I'm eating like 1200 calories a day. Like you can have one double cheeseburger if you don't eat breakfast. I'm like, okay, I don't eat breakfast anyway. And I did that and I quit eating like bags of chips, watching TV and- That's no fun. And then I realized, she's like, well, you know, you should have like a 2000 calories, but I had you on 1200. I'm like, man, <laughs> you know, no wonder I lost weight, you know? So now I'm back to eating a little, well, I ate a half, I mean, <clears throat> I did a half pound <laughs> burger today at lunch. Actually, I got you the medium uh, size, okay. which is like, <laughs> it's like a third pound or something. Okay, whatever. It's more than I should have eat, eaten. All right, Does cool. Does brown have anything to do with it? I don't think so, Danner. I mean, that's probably for maybe a light that's on that. I don't know. 
I mean, it could also ground. You need a ground for the trailer, so maybe they're using that. Because you'd have you'd have parking lights, brake lights, and turns are the same. So the, yeah, the fourth wire would be a ground. Yeah. So whatever he's trailering doesn't have a ground. Yeah, but, but it, it does through there. But when you hit bumps, the lights flicker. Maybe that's that. Maybe that's killing stuff too. I don't know. Back feed. You know, high higher amperage on ground. I don't know. Whatever. Yep. I'll fix the ground. All right. Cool. Awesome. Anything else we want to tell everyone else here? No. It's Danner, my brother. Every video, people are like, "Who's that guy?" <laughs> No, they, they all know who you are. And yes, he lost weight. This is my brother's shop. His name's Jim, and we call him Danner because there were lots of gyms that hung out back in the day. Four gyms, and we went by last names. Even mom calls him Danner. And so I like this because less people are calling me Dan now. Yeah, well, I get Dan. Because Danner, my yeah. freaking name's not Dan. It's my brother Well, that Jim. one girl <laughs> that came in with the car, <laughs> with the convertible that dropped off the other guy with the Hummer, I didn't know they were like, together oh, yes. whatever but she still thinks my name's paul so i'm just oh letting, sweet I'm, I'm letting no, whatever <laughs> danner i'm paul jim paul jim paul jim paul yeah uh and then caleb my son behind the camera guys thanks for joining us if you have any uh questions about what we've done please feel free to put them in the comments below don't forget to like and subscribe and click the little bell icon on my channel so you get notifications when we upload new stuff. Danner, thanks for yeah, letting us use your, you, use your man. shop. You, you and uh, the two things I didn't have to touch. Yeah, man. sweet. Awesome. That's, the way, that's the way it works. So oh, cool. Yeah. All right. Thanks, man. Thank you guys. See you next time.